11 days after being captured along with his girlfriend in a stunning forced landing of a commercial airliner flying between European capitals, Belarus's opposition journalist Roman Pretasevich appeared on state television last night in a disturbing propaganda video where he condemned fellow opposition activists and lavished praise on authoritarian President Alexander Lukashenko and adopted the state's language against Western interference. Human Rights Watch is pointing to signs of injury on Pretasevich's hands, including here, where markings on his wrist can be seen. The dissident's father said that it's a sign that his son probably gave this interview as a result of torture. Now, back on May 24th, one day after he was detained, this video appeared on social media where Pratasevich appeared to have bruises on his face. Joining me now with more is NBC News' Matt Bodner, who is in St. Petersburg, Russia, for us. Matt, what's the latest on this? I know you've been tracking this pretty closely and a disturbing twist late last night. Thank you, Eamon. Well, this is the third time we've actually seen him used this way, and this one arguably one of the more uh, unsettling versions uh, of it. Uh, as you mentioned, there's there's clear signs of duress, so I don't think we're going to show uh, too many clips from it. Um, and, and like you said, uh, clearly bruises on his wrist. But one of the things that really stuck out to me uh, is not only is he refuting essentially everything that he's worked hard for over the past several years, what he's done with his journalism career, uh, it's the way in which he's, he, he's done it. It's this very kind of strange pro like pro-government language, something you might see uh, on state media. And, 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 and one of the quotes was like, he, he, he admitted that he organized the massive protest that, that, that popped up last year. You know, as you recall, there was that presidential election in Belarus uh, that the opposition very likely won. And that's what started all of this. And, and he was instrumental in kind of uh, 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 publicizing the massive, the massive uh, uh, examples of, of regime uh, excess, regime abuse against protesters. And, and he's now saying that he regrets doing all of that. He regrets bad-mouthing Alexander Lukashenko, the president, for example, and says that he even now respects Lukashenko. And this is all that was couched and in, in packaged in what was ostensibly, if you just kind of glanced at it, a, a very ordinary state television uh, interview. But it's when you look closer that the, that the devil's really in the details, uh, those bruises. Mm. He seems nervous at times. At one point, he breaks down uh, into tears. But also, his father says that he knows his son, obviously, uh, and does not believe he'd ever say any of these things, and actually said, as you mentioned, that, that this is the result of torture. And we've heard from uh, uh, various other groups that have kind of sounded off on this and, and backed that up from Human Rights Watch, but also uh, Svetlana Tikhonovskaya, the opposition leader, uh, who I think pointed out, you know, uh, accurately that the main task of a political prisoner is simply to survive. And, and, and one of the things I want to leave you with is, is that we're seeing the situation with Roman now uh, uh, because it was very blatant. We saw it, it happened right in front of the West, basically. But he is one of hundreds. Amen.